the power rule. It's really one of the most simple rules that you learn. Um, it's actually also one of the most helpful tools that you'll have in calculus. And that's great. So before we actually get into differentiating uh, the power rules, one of the first things you'll learn. Um, and before I actually explain the power rule, I'd like to uh, have you look at the formal definition of a derivative, which is right over here. A derivative is the limit of, as h approaches 0, of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So it's a little lengthy, uh, it's a little lengthy formal definition right here. And you can see that if we actually use this to get a derivative, let's say we have the function 3x squared plus 1, and we use that to differentiate 3x squared plus 1, we're going to go ahead and plug it in. So we're going to have 3x plus h squared plus 1 minus 3x squared plus 1. And then when you simplify that, uh, you can um, simplify that, sp spread the negative over, foil it out, all that, and then you can cross it out. So 3x squared crosses out with 3x squared plus 1 crosses out with minus 1. And you're left with 6x plus 3h because you can also go ahead and get rid of the, the squares over here. So you can pull out an h, pull out an h, cancel, and you're left with 6x plus 3h. And since h is approaching 0, you're left with 6x. So 6x would be f prime of x. It's the derivative. Now, that was kind of a lengthy process that we had to go through just to get to the, the derivative of f of x. Uh, the power rule actually allows you to do this in really a matter of seconds. And we're going to have a look at how the power rule works. So the power rule basically says that you have any given function f of x is equal to x to any given number as long as provided the exponent is not equal to zero and if all these if if that's true f prime of x which will be the derivative of f of x will be that number n times x to the n minus one so if you look at that, we can actually go ahead and apply that same that same power rule over here. And what we can do is we can see we can multiply 2 by 3x, get 6x, and do 2 minus 1. That gives us 6x. And sure enough, that was the derivative that we found using the long formal definition. So it really makes it simple. And here's a few examples that we can try together. So this was the first one, 6x. 7x to the power of 6. So same thing. You bring the exponent down, multiply it, subtract 1 from the original number, which was 6. So you're left with 5. And that's going to be 42x to the fifth power. Now you could have you can go ahead and plug this seven x to the power of six in the formal definition of the derivative right here, and you'll you'll end up with the same the same derivative. You can go ahead and try that, but I don't have to because I'm positive. Anyways, moving on, we have one over x. Now this will actually go and show you uh, why the power rule is a really powerful tool, because um, you can actually rewrite a lot of uh, functions or formulas where you can actually use the power rule to get to differentiate so we can use exponent rules over here and we can rewrite this as x to the negative one and then x to the negative one we can use that to get the derivative what would we do we would multiply negative one 
by x, and then we would subtract 1. So that all would just simplify to negative x to the negative 2. And that is the... That is... Moving on. Again, we can rewrite this as x to the power of 1 over 3. And using this, we can then apply the power rule. So the derivative will be 1 over 3 times x to the 1 over 3 minus 1, or 3 over 3. And you can simplify that as 1 over 3x to the power of negative 2 over 3. Easy. So the power rule, as you as I just demonstrated, is really a simple rule that can save you a lot of time throughout your course of calculus.